Today's lesson is about evaluating algebraic expressions. The objective of today's lesson is being able to use substitution to evaluate algebraic expressions. Remember there are two types of expressions. There are numeric um, expressions, which just have numbers and operations, and then there are algebraic expressions, which have numbers and variables. No matter what we're working on, we always, always, always use the order of operations. So you never have to think to yourself, oh, should I use the order of operations in this problem? The answer is yes, always. And if you don't know it, I'm going to link a video um, in today's lesson that you can go watch in case you're not sure of it. But remember, parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction last from left to right. Yesterday we talked about having a variable and a number right next to each other. When you see a variable right next to a number, that implies that we need to multiply. Remember, this guy has a name. The number that we're multiplying the variable by is called the coefficient. And of course, the unknown is called the variable. So remember, the objective of today's lesson is to be able to use substitution. So let me give you a, a simple example of what that means. These directions say evaluate 5b when 6 equals 2, 4, or 5. We have three problems here, 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to evaluate 5b. Remember, this means 5 times b. But I'm going to substitute these values in. So I'm going to substitute instead of b, I'm going to use 2. So now this is the same as saying 5 times 2. If the value of b is 2, then 5b is equal to 10. Done with that one. Now I'm going to move on to this one. I'm looking at the expression 5 times b, but I'm going to substitute. Now b has a value of 4. So that's the same as saying 5 times 4 which is equal to 20. And last but not least, the value of b is going to be 5. So that's the same as saying 5 times 5, which is 25. So that is using substitution to find the value of an algebraic expression. We can use substitution with any operation. So for example, if t is equal to 7, this expression becomes 7 plus 2. This expression becomes 9 minus 7. This expression becomes 6 times 7. And this expression becomes 14 divided by 7. All I did was substitute. And then, of course, in order to find the actual value, I would complete that work and make sure to give an answer. Let's take a look at an expression with a little more to it. So we've got 20 plus 3n, and n is going to equal three different things. So we have three problems here. In the first one, it says n equals 10. So our problem becomes 20 plus 3 times 10. Right underneath that, I'm going to do my multiplication first. So 3 times 10 is 30. I'm going to rewrite the problem. 20 plus 30 is 50. In my second problem, n is equal to 12. So now I'm going to substitute 12. So instead of n, I'm going to write 12. I'm going to do my multiplication first. 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 2 is 6. So 3 times 12 is 36. 20 plus 36 is equal to 56. And last but not least, the value of n becomes 14. So we've got 20 plus 3 times 14. I'm going to do my multiplication first. So 3 times 14 is 42. I know 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 4 is 12. So then I add them together. 20 plus 42 is equal to 62. I used substitution to find the value when n was 12. Tw sorry, 10, 12, or 14. Sometimes we might have a problem where we have a table that looks like this. And this is just asking us to use substitution. If n is equal to 6, this problem, we're going to substitute 6 for n. So 4 times 6 plus 2. 
We always do multiplication first, so 4 times 6 is 24, plus 2 is 26. In this problem, 4 times 3 plus 2, I can see that n equals 3 here. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. And if n equals 5, our problem becomes 4 times 5 plus 2, 20 plus 2, is 22. Nothing different about that, just the table looks a little bit different, but I just wanted you to see that as an example in case you come across one. All right, now we're going even a little more complex. So we've got an expression 18 minus c plus 4 squared. So I'm going to rewrite my expression substituting the value of c. So I'm going to say 18 minus 2 plus 4 squared. Now, I know that exponents come first in PEMDAS. Sorry, parentheses do, but there are no parentheses here. I know that exponents are next, so I'm going to go ahead and solve this before I write it down. Remember, 4 squared means 4 times 4, so the value of that is 16. Now, according to PEMDAS, I do um, addition and subtraction from left to right. So 18 minus 2 is 16 plus 16. I know 15 plus 15 is 30, and then I've got two more, so 32. This is exactly the same problem, except our value is different. So let's re rewrite it. 18 minus 8, and then I'm going to go ahead and solve this right away. 4 times 4 is 16. Be careful that you do not <laughs> put 8. I see some kids are still making that mistake. Remember, this is the exponent which tells us how many times to use the base as a factor. So 4 times 4. We've used that base as a factor two times. 1, 2. 18 minus 8 is 10, plus 16 gives us a value of 26. And this is our last example. Remember, you can always come to, back to this video if you still have questions. I'm going to substitute 18 for r divided by 9 plus 5 and 5 tenths. Go ahead and write this down on top of your paper if you need to, somewhere else if you need to. Uh, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division. I'm not going to add these first because then I would get a different answer. 18 divided by 9 is 2 plus 5 and a half gives us 7 and a half, 7 and a half, or 7 and 5 tenths. Um, again, use this video as a resource, and your assignment will be waiting for you in Schoology. Have a great day.